Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you will learn how to fill in your timeline with info about your subject. In the top row, you will see the different categories for your info. We will go over what each one is as we get to them. In the first column, you are going to enter the start date for your event. The end date is only needed if your subject has an end date. Next, the headline will be a quick description of your subject. Next, in the text column, you will give more detailed info about your subject. Next is your media column. You can add links from YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, Dailymotion, Instagram, TwitPic, Twitter statuses, Wikipedia, or an image. I'm going to use this video of the Women's Suffrage March. Copy your link's URL and paste it into your media column. Next, we have the media credit. This section will be used to give credit to the source where your media came from. I'm going to go back to the YouTube page and give credit to Change Before Going Productions. The media caption will be used to caption your media. So just give a quick description of what your media is. Next, in the media thumbnail column, you are going to add a link to an image. This will act as a preview to your media. I'm going to use this photo. You can copy your link and paste it into your timeline. Next is the type. Here you can choose if this row will be your title row or just another subject in your era. I'm going to make this my title row. And finally, you have the tag column. Here, you can add different categories that pertains to your row of information. If you hover over certain headers, it will give you more information about what each column represents. Finally, if you need to add more rows, go to the bottom of your timeline where it says add and select the number of rows you want to add and then click add. Inverse, if you need to delete these rows, you would click right click on the number of the row you want to delete or control click for Mac users and go down to delete row. This will then take away that row. You can do this as many times as necessary. Now go up to the upper left hand corner and click on the copy timeline JS template. Now rename your project. Once you are done, click OK, and your project has now been renamed. Google will automatically save your project periodically, so you do not have to worry about saving it or losing any of your work. And that's how you create your timeline.